Hey everyone, Dom here and in this video I have two exciting things to share with you. First, Iconica Sketch, a powerful orchestral library, is now available for iPhone, iPad, Android and every AU compatible mobile DAW. And the second thing is the new free Cubasis 3.7 update that includes amazing new features like the new tempo and signature tracks. In order to show you how powerful is the combination of Cubasis 3.7 in synergy with the new Iconica sketch, I'm going to play for you a piece that I've composed entirely on my iPad. This project contains a big palette of orchestral instruments and utilizes the new tempo and time signature tracks, as you can see right here. I'm also going to play on top of this, so let's have a listen and then we're going to dive into the Iconica sketch. So as you can see, we have a full orchestral arrangement right here with strings, with woodwinds, with brass, with percussion, with chromatic percussion, and everything happens on my iPad right here, which is amazing. And don't forget, you can do exactly the same thing on an iPhone. Let's talk a little bit about Iconica Sketch because this is an amazing orchestra for mobile devices. I'm so excited about this. The fact that you can have an entire orchestra at your fingertips on your iPad or even an iPhone, this is incredible. When you purchase Iconica Sketch, you can run it, of course, standalone. And right here, you can load all the different sounds, as you can see, and you have all the different articulations, the controls, and you also have your pitch bend and modulation wheel. So you can start playing straight away. Now, if you own Cubasis and Iconica Sketch for iPhone and iPad, you also get a free additional Cubasis plugin version of the instrument that offers improved integration and maximum performance. And this you can find right here here, you will see that I have Iconica Sketch, but of course, if I go to audio units, we also have the AU version of Iconica Sketch right there. If you're using Cubase, I would always suggest that you use the Iconica Sketch instrument. That's the built-in plugin version in Cubase. But if you're using another DAW, of course, you can use the audio units version as well. Now let's go back to the standalone version for a second and let me play some of the sounds for you so that you can hear what kind of quality you can expect. So right here I have loaded the violins one and as you can see we have all these different articulations. Let's try the staccatos. Let's try the pizzicatos. Spiccatos. The great thing with Iconica Sketch is that you can trigger all these different articulations using key switches, like with the desktop version. So if I go down some octaves, you will see that we have the key switches right here. So if I press D0 right here, you will see. And now if I press E. Mm -hmm. 
we get the legato articulation. And the great thing is that if you want to customize those key switches, you can do this very easily. For example, let's say I want to use my pads right here to control the key switches. These pads right here transmit MIDI notes and I can use any MIDI notes on my MIDI keyboard as well. But if I want, I can go and tap right here where it says E0. And you will see now this articulation is in edit mode. So if I press one of these pads here, now I've assigned this articulation to this pad. Let's go to this one, to Spiccato, and assign this to this pad. And now check what I can do. I can hit this pad again and I'm in legato. And then, And this makes articulation switching a breeze. Let's select the sustain vibratos. And now I want to show you that you can also use this virtual mod wheel to engage this modulation control. So you don't necessarily need a keyboard that has a mod wheel. You can always use the mod wheel that we have right here on the instrument itself. Let's play the celli. some pizzicatos maybe. Beautiful. Let's try the violas as well, spiccato. Legatos. And I love these articulations with the sustained vibratos because they start with no vibrato and then you can intensify the vibrato with your mode wheel. Tremolos. They sound amazing, don't they? Let's jump back into Cubases and let me load the clarinets. And I'm going to use the sustain here. Let's see. Legato. Let's try the flute. It's amazing that we can get this quality right now on a mobile device. Let's try some brass sounds. I'm going to go to the brass category and I'm going to go to the horns. And let's see, we have staccato here.
Let's try the sustains. Let's try the harp. I'm going to be switching octaves here. And of course, for the harp, we also have a stop articulation. And that's where the harpist just plays their hands on the strings of the harp to stop the sound. Let's try some chromatic percussion now. Maybe we can try the celesta. Glockenspiel. Tubular bells. Again, we have the stop articulation. And let's try the timpanis. Let's try the rolls. And we also have a full percussion map. So as you can see, we have all these different instruments right here. And I use quite a few of these sounds in the track that you heard at the beginning. We also have these symbols that you can control with your mod wheel. These are great for transition sounds. Let's have a look at the new tempo track and time signature tracks included in Cubase's 3.7. And as you can see, I've utilized them here. I have a tempo track, so I created those accelerandos. So we have a little bit of speed up right here before we get to the climax. And then we change the tempo completely. We have another speed up right here. And then we have a ralentando at the end. And this is crucial, of course, for orchestral music, for orchestral mock-ups. And this now is available in Cubases. The second thing you will see is that I have a signature tracker. So we start with 4-4, common time signature, and then when we get to bar 18, we change to 2-4 and then 7-8. And then in the end, we have 3-4. So we have all these different time signatures. Now let me show you how you can create the tempo and signature tracks in Cubase's 3.7. For this, let's start with an empty project. I want to show you how you can create this from scratch. And the only thing you need to do is go here and add a new track. And you will see that now we have the option for a global track. So if you add a global track, you will see that we have a tempo track added and also a signature track added right here. So if I want to start introducing tempo changes, it's very easy. I can click on this and this will give me an expanded view. And now what I can do is I can either draw my tempo track, I can create jump tempo changes like this, or I can create ramp tempo changes by hitting the ramp option. And of course, now if I start drawing, you will see that I can create my tempo changes in a very easy and fluid way. For example, if I want to set my cursor right here, I can add another tempo change and I can set it up like so. So it's very easy to start creating your own tempo maps. And of course I can select multiple points like this and I can move them up and down if I want to. I can activate or deactivate my tempo track. Now let's go to our signature track and this works in the same way. So if I want to, I can go here to bar three and say, I want to add a three, four time signature and maybe on bar five, I want to add another time signature change and this could be nine, eight. And it's that simple. This way you can create time signatures throughout your whole project. So there you go, with Cubase's 3.7 and Iconica Sketch creating orchestral masterpieces on an iPad, 
or iPhone has become a reality. Happy composing and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.